One of the sayings that is used frequently in this uh, time of quarantine uh, is that we are all in this together. That we're all facing the same struggle together as a community, as, as, as a country, as, as a world, uh, as global citizens, we are all facing this, uh, this disease kind of in a unified way. But I think there's more to it than just that. That might be what they're, they're, they're saying, but I think there's something for us to take from that as well. Paul uh, wrote a letter to some friends of his in the city of Philippi. And he starts off his letter and he says, I thank my God every time I think of you because of your partnership with me in the gospel. Now, when Paul writes this letter, he's in prison. He's uh, been... Uh, he, he's in prison. He's awaiting trial. Uh, he is in Rome waiting to go before, before Caesar and to state his case for um, the, the gospel that he's, he's been preaching uh, around the world. And he says, this partnership, we're, we're in this together. And I think about that for us as a church body, that it's not just one or two of us doing things, but we're all in this together. As I came outside to, to, to shoot this, uh, you, you, we see the brick. and uh, Our building is it's not made of one brick. And it's not just scattered bricks, but it's brick upon brick built together, standing together that forms our physical building, our physical structure. And so we see in Scripture that we're being, it says we're being built together into a temple. That's not just one of us or two of us, but it's all of us joined together. We are in this together. And Paul says we're in this together to share the gospel. That's the point of church. It's, that's the point of a, a church community, a community of faith. It's not just a one or two of us. It's not just about my own personal faith and my own personal connection with Jesus, but it's about my ripple running into someone else's ripple. That we're, we're, we pass this faith along. That we share it with others. And so this week, today, as, 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 you're, seeing, as you're listening to this, as you're thinking about this, who is it that you are thankful for who's passed the gospel on to you, who's helped you uh, see and know and understand Jesus better? Who's filling your life that you can pass on the gospel to others, that you can share Jesus with someone else? Who are you thankful for and who are you partnering with? Who are you working with to, to share that gospel with someone else? So that someone else knows about Jesus, so that no, someone else uh, can have the same uh, faith and salvation that we have. Who is it that you're partnering with? Who is it that you're thankful for? And where are your ripples going? And when you take a stone and you throw it into a pond, it just doesn't go plunk to the bottom, but it sends out ripples. When those ripples hit the shore, they tend to ripple back. So where are your ripples going? Are you throwing the biggest rock you can into the water? Are you just dropping pebbles? What kind of impact do you want to make? And who are you partnering with to make that impact for the cause of Christ? Hey, I love you guys. I'm glad I got to see some of you on Sunday. Uh, looking forward uh, to another uh, outdoor service this Sunday. And so be praying for us. I'm praying for you guys. I love you guys. Can't wait to see you soon. And I hope you have a great day.